guys, it's Monica and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the February Ipsy Allure and Birch Box. We are going to see what they sent, see which one we think did a better job this month, and if that sounds good, just keep watching. So for today's video, I am opening up the February Allure, Ipsy, and Birch Box. And I know it's a little late in the month, but I wanted to have all three of them here so I could compare them for you. And for whatever reason, Allure is always the last one to get here. It just got here a couple of days ago. So we are going to take a look at all three and see which one we think was a better value this month and which one we like better. Now the Ipsy is $12 a month and it's supposed to be a $50 value. And the nice thing about Ipsy is they always send a cute little bag with it. Uh, you can use it as a cosmetics bag, travel bag, whatever you want to use it for, but they're always cute little bags every month and that's what makes them different. Birchbox is $15 a month and the nice thing about both Birchbox and Ipsy is that you go online and you fill out a beauty profile and that way when they send you products, they are a little more customized to the types of products that you like and the types of colors that you like. So that's the nice thing about both of those. Now Allure is also $15, but this one is not customizable. As far as I know, everybody gets the same box. But the nice thing about the Allure one is it's supposed to be a $70 value and at least two of the products are supposed to be full size. So it's a pretty good deal, I think. Now I get all three of these every month and I really enjoy it. I think it's a great way to try new products, it's a fun way to get some small travel size products, and it's a really good value, so I really love getting them. Alright, so let's go ahead and start opening everything up and we'll see which one did a better job this month. So let's start with Ipsy. I'm always curious to know what the bag's going to look like this month. I've kind of ripped some things open just to make it easier. Sometimes I struggle with these, especially the birch box. They can be so difficult to open. But, very nice. This is really cute. This is like a pink or mauve, almost like a velvety looking bag. It's very cute. Maybe it's pink for Valentine since it's February. So let's see what we got here. Sure enough, they're saying feel the love. There's a little card letting us know what products we got. And let's see. K Voss Fairy Dust Pressed Highlighter. Very nice. I always like trying new highlighters. I don't know what it is, even though, you know, they're pretty similar. I just love trying new ones. So let's see. This says the K Voss New York uh, Fairy Dust Pressed Highlighter in Moonlight. So let's see. Ooh, I like that. It's a nice light pink shimmery highlighter right up my alley. So I'm going to have fun playing with that. Let's see what else we have in here. Auto Balm Girl Powder Cheeks on the Go from, this is from The Balm, which I really like that, that brand and their products. Oh, that's a very pretty color. It's called Houston or Houston Street. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. All right, we've already got two nice cheek products. Let's see what else we have. Cali C, Better Than Clean. All right, I'm gonna read the card because it's hard to read the package. Cali C Better Bean Clean Face Coffee Cleanser. Two things we can't start our day without, our hot latte and this coffee infused gel cleanser. That sounds interesting. I bet caffeine will help perk you up a little bit in the morning. Oh, this one's sealed. Let's see, I'm curious if it smells like coffee. Mmm, I don't really smell. No, it doesn't smell like coffee. It smells a little vanilla-ish, and I'm always up for another gel cleanser so i will definitely use that let's see what else we have okay it your skin but better primer plus and it's their oil free primer now i have not tried their primer before so um be curious to see what that's about feels pretty good on the skin it's a good nice consistency it's not too um tacky like some of the silicone ones are so yeah we'll give it a try and then lastly, 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie from Pure. Ooh, it's a long wear foundation and concealer. Let's see what the color looks like. I am so fair that sometimes the samples are good, but sometimes they're just too dark for me. Mmm, 
It's a little dark and orangey. Maybe when I'm tan, I'll hold on to it. It's very matte and it seems very full coverage. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this bag. We got pretty much everything for your face. We got primer, foundation and concealer, powder, highlighter, and then a cleanser to take it all off. So that's kind of a full package. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll have to see how everybody else does. All right, so let me get some of this off my hand. Sitting here all sticky. Um, and let's do Birch Box next. It's a cute box. Uh, every month the box is different. And this one kind of looks like one of those puzzles, those maze puzzles. You can sit here and draw on it, play with it. So yeah, let's see what they sent this month. Going to bed with a clean face is one of the easiest ways to prevent breakouts. Birchbox tip number 179. All right, in no particular order, I've got La Roche-Posay Micellar Ultra for sensitive skin. So I like a good micellar water. I'll usually use this in the morning since I've already washed my face the night before. I'll use a, a micellar water just to take off any residual moisturizers from the night before, um, any dirt or dead skin cells. Um, and then sometimes if I've not worn makeup that day so that I, if it's on the weekend and I don't need to do a heavy cleanse at night, um, then sometimes I'll use this before I use a cleanser. So very nice. I will definitely use it. And La Roche-Posay is a great brand. All right. We've got R & Co High Dive Moisture and Shine Cream. So this is formulated to smooth and seal the hair cuticle. This cream soft, softens, fights frizz, and enhances shine. Apply to towel dried hair before styling. So yeah, I'll definitely give that a try. I always feel like I have flyaways and frizzies that I'm fighting and combating. So yeah, so I'll definitely try it and see what it does. Next, we have Avene Soothing Eye Contour Cream. Nice. I think an eye cream is so important. I use one morning and night, um, and I can kind of put this in the rotation. It says this cream has thermal spring water to relieve under eye irritation, redness, and tightness, and hyaluronic acid to deeply hydrate. That's awesome. You definitely need a lot of hydration around our eyes. So I will give that a try. So far, so good. I haven't seen anything in here that I wouldn't use. Hopefully it'll keep going that way. Um, all right, Real Chemistry Environmental Rescue Daily Serum. Fortify your face with an invisible army of antioxidants when you use this lightweight serum. It diminishes fine lines, improves elasticity, and makes skin more even and bright. Ooh, hopefully this will be enough for me to see a difference or to know if I really like it. It's a very small bottle. Um, but yeah, hopefully this will be enough for me to know whether this is gonna work for me or not. And then last, we have the Beauty Crop Glow Milk. It says it's a liquid highlighter. Let's see, I'm usually not crazy about liquid cream highlighters. All right, I'm just gonna have to rip into this. They've got this sealed too well, but maybe this one will surprise me. The problem that I usually have is since highlight is one of the last steps, um, if I put on powder, then it kind of takes the powder off. Um, the only time I will use a liquid or cream highlighter is if I'm doing a complete cream foundation, cream blush, cream face with no powder at all. Um, ooh, it is a very pretty, pretty highlight. I wonder, I bet you could even use this, like if you were gonna go to a party, use this on your cheekbone, cheekbones, collarbones. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very pretty. Um, I'll try it. I'll give it a try. And like I say, I can do it on one of those days when I'm using all cream products and hopefully I won't get um, any of that lift off that I get with some of the other cream highlighters that I've used. All right, pretty good. So Birchbox, we had a hair product, an eye cream around here somewhere, micellar water, a serum, and then a highlighter. So only one cosmetic item 
um, a couple of skincare, and one thing for your hair. So it's a good mixture of things to try. Not too bad. Um, so yeah, so let's see what Allure has this month. So I think the reason I'm always excited to save Allure for last is because they're supposed to have those two full-size products in it. Um, and I'm just always excited to see what that is. So let's see what we got this month. All right, we've got our little magazine that's gonna tell us about the products. And right on top, we've got Olay Regenerist Retinol 24 Night Moisturizer Fragrance Free. Excited about that. I like to use a good retinol. Um, Olay's Vitamin B3 Plus Retinoid Complex, non greasy, approved for daily use without the trade off. So, very nice. And there's supposed to be a $3 coupon inside. Okay, this is a very small, very small travel size container. Um, but I guess if we like it, we've got the $3 coupon to go get the full size. But yeah, I'm not mad about that. Nice skincare product. Uh, we've also got Wander Beauty Wondrous Glow. All right, they've got this sealed up in here, don't they? And bubble wrap and tape. Well, that's very pretty. It's another highlight. It's funny that all three of them had a highlighter in it. Very popular product right now. It's very pretty gold, I like that. So yeah, let's see what Allure says about that. My most recent favorite is Wander Beauty's After Hours. The shade is a silvery pearl that glints off the planes of my face without looking greasy. She thinks it's silvery, I thought it was gold, but either way, I think it's very pretty and I will definitely try it. We've got a Peel Ultra Wear Lipstick. Let's see, I'm curious what color the lipstick is. Okay, oh, it's very pretty packaging. It almost looks like a perfume bottle. So let's see, ooh, that's pretty. Not too pink, not too orange. I like that. I'll give it a try. Everyone, myself included, we're all so picky about our lipstick colors, so. Um, may or may not be for everybody, but I think it's very pretty. We've got right on top here, NYX Professional Makeup Brush. Love another makeup brush. It kind of looks like this and the lipstick are gonna be our two full-size products this month. Although, maybe the highlighter. That might be full-size. All right, let's see what kind of brush this is supposed to be. Well, I guess it could have been one of three different brushes. I think this one's the blush brush. Yeah, looking at the picture, I think I would say this is the blush brush. So yeah, we'll give it a try. Love to add a new brush. We've got Belief. I cannot read that. Let's see if the brochure is any better. Okay, so it looks like I got the Belief Peat Miracle Revital Eye Cream. The other option would have been the Belief Aqua Balm Sleeping Mask. It's an eye cream that it with peat extract thought to be made from the buildup of organic material over centuries. I'm glad to explain that because I was about to say peat sounds familiar but I don't know what it is. Apparently it is the organic material that has built up over centuries and potentially useful in the treatment of rosacea. Okay. I don't have rosacea. Um, oh this is really pretty thick. I will try it, and if I like it, I might actually pass this along because I have a friend that has rosacea, um, and I know they're always looking for new products to try, so I'll give it a try myself, see if I like it, and then this might be something that I'll share, share the love with someone else. Lastly, Bare Minerals Skinsorials Vital Power Infusion. I reach for it every day, not only for the summery glow it provides, but also for its citrusy floral scent. Ah, this does a lot of stuff. All right, let's see how strong that scent is. If you don't like fragrance, it'll bother you, but otherwise it's not too strong. It's not overpowering. So we will give this a try. I mean, if it's going to help with vitality, moisture, resilience, renewal, all those things that we want, definitely give it a try. 
So let's see. We got a skincare product, a lipstick, highlight, blush, eye cream, and the retinol cream. So we got six products in the Allure box. Editing Monica here. I didn't realize until I was putting everything away that there was actually another item in the bottom of the box. It was the Honey Jarrett Super Beauty Mask. It's a rose mask blended with Jarrett tea. So there were actually seven items in the Allure box this month. Sorry about that. I like everything that I got in Allure and I like everything that I got in Birch Box. But honestly, I'm kind of digging the Ipsy just because it is a whole package here. Um, like I said, we had the It Cosmetics Primer, the Pure Foundation and Concealer, the Girl Powder from the Balm Blush, and then the K Voss Highlighter. So, and then there was the Gel Cleanser from Cali C. So I really like the fact that this was just a little package. I know it's not as much variety as getting a hair product or a brush, but I kind of like the fact that it's all a little kit that I could take with me. So that's my pick this month. Plus I think the bag is really cute. The bag always gives Ipsy a little bit of an up on everybody else, to be honest. So let me know what you think, whether you agree with me or not. I prefer Allure, it's not gonna hurt my feelings, but let me know down in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope seeing these products will help you decide if you wanna get these subscription boxes, or maybe if you do, you may already get Ipsy and Birchbox, but you might've gotten different products. So if you like this video, if you like seeing these reviews, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Again, let me know down in the comments which box was your favorite. And also let me know if there's any other beauty boxes that you would like for me to review. I'd be happy to do that. So I think that's everything for this month and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.